In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can stay connected while traveling and continue to use your existing phone number with this neat little trick. So you're about to travel either by car or by plane. And once you reach your destination, you realize that you had no service on your phone. It could be your current carrier doesn't have any roaming capabilities or you haven't added some sort of international data package. So what can we do to stay connected without having to pay any roaming charges? The solution is to use something called backup calling over cellular data. Now, this is just a disclaimer. This is not an official term. So how do we use this feature? Well, the first thing you're going to need is a unlocked phone that has eSIM capabilities. In my case, I'm using an iPhone 12 mini and on the documentation, you're going to see that feature that we're about to use highlighted in their documentation. So this is how the setup is. One is your primary line, which is the one they use for voice and text. In my scenario, I'm using Tello with the physical SIM card. And on your second line will be the line that you use for data. In my case, I'm using something called Kipgo eSIM data. Now, once I have my setup, the next thing I'm going to do is I have to enable Wi-Fi calling on my primary voice line. So Wi-Fi calling is a way to make and receive phone calls and SMS messages over a Wi-Fi connection. Now, you must enable Wi-Fi calling on the line that you are using for voice and standard SMS text. Otherwise, this feature won't work at all. I actually did a video on how to enable Wi-Fi calling on your phone. So I'll leave a link in the description or you can click on the card at the very top. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mimic the scenario where let's say your default voice line, whatever primary carrier you have, doesn't have any roaming capabilities, either domestic or even international. But you are using a, another carrier for data, like a second line for your eSIM compatible phone. So in my case, for my second line, I'm using something called KeepGo uh, Data Sim. They're one of the services that provide uh, eSIM data only plans. Kind of like if you're traveling, you'll be able to buy data plans, but it does not have any voice or texting capabilities. So let's say my default voice line is Tello and Tello does not have any roaming capabilities. Now, this is just a scenario I'm just mimicking at home. Uh, usually you don't have to do this because when you travel to your destination, if your carrier doesn't have any roaming capabilities, it should just go to a no cellular service. But I'm just going to mimic that right now. So I'm going to go to my carrier settings and I'm just going to network selections and I'm going to turn off the automatic feature. Once this automatic feature has been disabled, we're going to see all these different other carriers. Uh, but if I choose, for example, like Verizon, I won't be able to roam on Verizon. So we're going to look and see what happens. So now we see SOS only and then it switches to Tello using cellular data. So what that means now is that since I have Wi-Fi calling enabled on Tello, I'm now able to receive phone calls, standard SMS text through using my KeepGo eSIM data. Now my KeepGo eSIM data, since I'm using it in the States, it's using the AT&T network. So again, I can make phone calls, I can receive phone calls, I can send SMS text and receive SMS text. So basically you're piggybacking off your second line. So I wanted to make sure that the features of sending text and also receiving phone calls do work with this cellular backup calling feature. So on the right hand side, I'm using an Android phone, uh, using a service called my text now, and I was able to receive SMS text. And also I want to make sure I'm able to send SMS too, and that worked as well. Next thing I want to demonstrate is making phone calls and also receiving phone calls. Hello. Hello? 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 
So I was able to receive phone calls, make phone calls, receive SMS, and send SMS texts. So what about Android users? Well, this feature is on specific phones such as the Pixel 6 or later, or even some Samsung phones. But I'm not quite sure which other Android phones do support this feature. If you are an Android user and you do have this feature, please leave your comment below. So here are the cons of using this feature. First is you can't access new voicemails over visual voicemail. So they're still able to call you and leave you a voicemail, but you won't get the notification that you have a new voicemail. You're still able to call your voicemail inbox via the phone dialer. There's no MMS texting at all. So I tried that. It did not work at all. I do notice when conducting this testing that sometimes it has a delay in switching from SOS to the actual cellular backup feature. This feature could also be blocked depending on your destination. There's no way for me to really test this, but just be aware that certain countries, certain areas, they might have restrictions. So this feature might not be available. But what are your thoughts on this feature? Have you tried using it before? Leave your comments below. If you'd like to support the channel, I also launched a Ko-Fi page. Feel free to check it out and I'll leave a link in the description. If you're looking for some eSIM data plan providers, you could check out that playlist right here.